we shall begin. Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Salmon Drake Play Star Trek Online. As we begin uh, Jula's discovery, the next arc, as um, the very short episode for last episode, was actually the end of that story arc. If you're wondering why it seemed a bit disjointed and branded abruptly, well, I get the feeling that you have to play through the... Um, Discovery Starfleet Officer mission pack to get the full picture, as these are just, you know, 25th century hollow recreations. But alas, enough of my speculation. Let's begin. The storm is creating spatial disturbances throughout the system. If we analyze their patterns, we might be able to position the ship at a point where communication is possible. Okay. Initial scans are picking up clouds of ionized subspace radiation, chronometric particles. This is curious. Sensors are registering a stationary object. It is not far. Although apparently I'm no longer on your team exiting map in 13 seconds. However, the ionization of subspace is warping and distorting the sensors. There we go. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. I'm going to remain in the map. We're good. That was weird. Yeah, it was. <laughs> As I suspected, a navigational buoy. It appears to be active. The navigational buoys here are configured to broadcast a message on all frequencies. It is intended to inform those who arrive here that Pavo is a protected reserve. Sensors indicate heavy hull ionization on this buoy. I believe it has been disabled by the effects of the ion storm. Navigational buoy 226 is nearby and should provide us with a means to reinforce hailing frequencies between the ship and the Pavo research station. Oh, I get the feeling they've, act they've triggered something um, they shouldn't have. You are entering the Pavo system. The planet Pavo is a protected reserve. Access is prohibited. I have detected something of interest. Sensors show the formation of a spatial anomaly nearby. Uncertain, it appears to be providing stability to the ion storm, similar to the eye of a hurricane. I don't like the look at spatial, also... that spatial anomaly. Indeed. Yeah, from the oh, hello. It's the discovery. Uh, no, it's. it's oh, it's, it's that is mirror universe discovery. By the looks of it. So are these mirror universe Klingons. No, I think House Mokai has just come to the future. And that's the Glen Lion. You know, those sheep we... But why am I moving away at maximum warp? What the hell? I don't know. Why are you moving away? I don't away? know. Apparently my... my... I don't think that's the Starfleet vessel. I think you need, we need to look at its registration a bit more closely. Scan. Sensors show a spike in the chronometric particles immediately preceding the arrival of these vessels. Fascinating. The Crossfield class vessel is not transmitting a Starfleet recognition signal. 
Sensor analysis confirmed. It is the ISS Discovery. Oh. From the Terran Empire of the so-called... Okay, yeah, Near you're right. Universe. It is the... Yeah, okay. So does that mean that's Mirror Your assistance Juno? is most appreciated. Speaking for myself and my loyal crew, thank you. I am Captain Sylvia Tilly. Oh and I dear. officially declare our intent to seek asylum. Okay. Huh. Tilly. Clearly this is going to take a little getting used to. I'm not entirely sure how, but judging by the sensor readings I'm seeing, and that rather impressive ship of yours, we've taken a trip to the future. I'm sure the science behind all of this is fascinating, but we have some more immediate concerns to address, namely the Klingon boarding parties running wild on my ship. Excellent. I'll have Patel, my chief of security, meet your team at the transport coordinates. With his... Yeah, no, I, I don't trust her. Well, you yeah, know, she is a Terran. You have to, you do have to hold them with some degree of di mistrust. Distrust, rather. <laughs> Back to the loading screen. The question is, though, if that's Jeweler from the past, but it's Mirror Jeweler. Well, it might be, for all we know. Yeah, well, we'll I suppose we'll find out. Does that mean that Mirror Jeweler is the jeweler we're currently dealing with in this universe? Or I don't know. I don't know either. We will find out. But we'll be right back, folks. Mm -hmm. Now let's move forward. Numerous life signs in your vicinity, reading multiple high energy discharges as well. The data is consistent with 23rd century phaser. Welcome to the ISS Discovery. Yeah, no. I'm afraid Patel has been relieved of command. Just like you're going to be relieved of those fancy 25th century weapons. Our captain is weak. And you? You're a fool. The Terran Empire tolerates neither. I'm assuming you've already just walked through them all. <laughs> no, I was waiting away and I realised you weren't moving. Yeah, I was doing the dialogue option. Like, oh yes, we will take your fancy shiny toys. Oh, but okay, good luck. Transmitting now. Hello, welcome aboard the Discovery. As you can see, things have become a bit more complicated. It seems that some of my crew have decided that now is the perfect time to express their concerns with my command decision. Hmm. Yes. As if the Klingon boarding parties weren't enough to deal with. Oh hey, let's have a mutiny too. Wonderful. Never mind that. Did Chief Patel make it to you? She was supposed to escort you through the security fields to the bridge. I see. We'll do what we can from the bridge, but I'm afraid we're a bit locked down here at the moment. According to our internal sensors, Chief Patel is in that deck security station. It's not far from your current position. Find Patel. She should be able to override whatever the mutineers are... Well, she's not dead. I imagine they just locked her in a closet somewhere. So we're going to secure the field. We're free. Look out! They're still alive. Well, sounds like our guests got a warm welcome. Oh yeah, I've still got the TR-116 on. <laughs> Fair enough. I've got to switch back to my anti-proton cannon at some point. Now that I have your attention, I have some questions. Tilly has plans. Yes, 
she always has plans. And you're going to tell me what they are. Oh, you'll resist, of course. You're a Terran, after all. But let's be honest. <laughs> you're gonna love Terrans and their torture. <laughs> you will tell me what I want to know. Apparently, Tilly's new allies are still with us. Yeah. Did you realize that oh, is so much better than yours, right? Weapons at highest setting. Open fire. Um, shields. We have shields. You do not. We also have the much more advanced technology. Like that. I mean, he says kill them or I will kill you. That's not exactly a threat. He's like, die, or I will, or you will die. Uh, help me. I ain't gonna let me change. On the booth. Uh. Oh no, that's a Lucari. Actually, you know what? We'll use the Lucari Pazo Electro help weapon for me. a bit. Controls. They're on the booth. I'm guessing you're the one the captain sent me to meet. I'm Patel, Chief of Security. Thanks for the assist. Oh, you didn't die in this universe. I make it a habit to be on the outside of an agonizer room. I spend my fair share of time in one, too. I'll manage. What's the situation? Is the captain still in command? <laughs> I'm not surprised. It'll take more than Klingons and mutinous riffraff to end Sylvia Tilly. I'm surprised she hasn't killed them all herself. In the meantime, I have orders to get you to the bridge, and I not a problem. There's no code written. One thing I do like so about like together. coming across the um, like Terrans and that is when you have such vastly different characters, like Tilly, for example, in like regards to her Terran counterpart. Yeah. Oh, she's a very, she's very different in Discovery, isn't she? Yes, mm, just the time. Almost I mean, I was still yeah. to that. Sorry, I just thought I'd put a plasma flamethrower turret right down where you get spawn and run through the door. Just because it seems the best idea. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right, I got it. The security fields are using my authorization codes now. Phaser minigun, Gemital, Phalaron. Phaser assault minigun. Did I give my name weapon to somebody else? Ah, you know what? I'll just continue using the Infinity Modulator. If someone's using the Zeppelin Cup, it's the Harm Assist who's using that weapon. Let's get to the bridge. The turbo lift is that way. Because I'm pretty sure the uh, the audience does not want to watch me go through my inventory trying to figure out where I've put that weapon. <laughs> watch your corners. Quickly, pause. No quarter, no prisoners. And Feels we're back, down. guys. I've got my cannon back. <laughs> the next question is, how do I get out of this room? Same way you get a wedding. Through the door. We're reading the loss of security fields on that deck. I take it you found Chief Patel? Yes. Some good news for a change, though I'm not terribly surprised. Woman's harder to kill than a honey badger. Ready for the bad news? I'm afraid the Klingons have taken several lower decks and are moving in your direction. Keep your weapons hot. No, well, that's fine. We should deploy the lower deckers. I hear Klingon disruptors up ahead. Ready for anything.
Do not let that Klingon scum through this junction! Hold your position. There's been... an incident. The Klingon kind. Specifically, they've taken control of main engineering. Killed my chief engineer and his security team in the process. They're threatening to breach the core if I don't surrender. That is not gonna happen. Evacuate sounds a lot like retreat to me, and that is not gonna happen either. This is my ship, and I will not abandon her. Take Patel, get down to engineering, deal with... I recommend you deal with this problem quickly. Now <sighs> Klingons probably cracked Rathman's code. Idiot. Nothing like mowing down a, a hallway of, of Klingons. Well, you know, Borg. <laughs> more anything else that gets in my way. <laughs> Bad news first. Seems there's more Klingons down there than we thought. You'll have to fight your way to main engine. Enjoy everything. <laughs> Rathman's dead, and we will be too if you don't get that turbo lift open. They're not even targeting vital systems, they're just trashing the place. Main engineering is just up ahead. Let's hustle, people! Your lead will breach. You go high, I'll go low. We all die. Enemy to die well. Die with honor. Looks like the Klingons are in a hurry. That is some sloppy work. Solving engineering problems like that when I was a first year cadet. Engineering secured. The matter, antimatter inducers, and adjust the flow rate. Hope you know what you're doing. That warp core looks fit to breach. Yes, for my yes. mastery of the mini let, game. Let, let the tactical officer deal with the warp I core think. overload rather than the engineering the officer. Core, but since we're all still here. <laughs> I guess this is where she's going to slot the knife in the back. Because it's true what the Ferengi say. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Mm. Doozy bridge. <sighs> oh, yeah. Face to face at last. Captain! Are you sure we can trust these assholes? Language! <laughs> I mean, okay, I quite like that response. Yeah. <laughs> Cursing. Such a filthy habit. You did well against the mutineers. They were you don't look like convinced in the background. The nope. While unpleasant, it is better than the fate we left behind. In our universe, Pavo is a cruel, deadly entity. Being sent to that system is a death sentence. And sent there we were. I suppose an enemy decided it was time for me to retire. Permanently. But enough about that. Let's get down to business, shall we? And we're just on the bridge. Why are we back? I don't know. I'm waiting on the map transfer, apparently. 
Oh yeah. First and foremost, there are a load of I have no interest in hostilities with your government. Mm -hmm. I meant what I said about asylum. I do. The mutiny was unfortunate, but what can I say? We're Terrans. Dominance is often challenged and must be maintained. The mutineers saw an opportunity, took their shot, and missed. Big time. Everyone left saw the price they paid for their failure. Believe me, the rest of the crew will fall in line. I'm fortunate you were here to deal with the problem. Apparently, my chief of security felt like spending time in an agonizer booth during most of the conflict. Honestly, Patel, if I knew you liked the booth so much, I'd keep you in one more often. Why, you... Uh, right to say so, Captain. It won't happen again. See to it that it doesn't. I'd hate to replace you, Chief, but I will if I have to. Next steps are to get my vessel back in working order before those Klingons come back to finish us off. Now that's not going to be easy. I'm down a chief engineer, the power grid is a shambles, we have multiple hull breaches, and we're nowhere near battle ready. Our shields are down. If the Klingons don't get us, it's only a matter of time before the Ion Storm does. Monitor that console while I try to get the main deflector back online. Start a diagnostic on the shield emitters. Hmm. I'll start to recalibrate the main deflector. Now, nah, you know what? You're the engineer. I'll let you take care of this one. Running diagnostic. <laughs> Klingons! All hands! Repel borders! To everyone! But the captain is mine! I may be an engineer officer, but I also okay, know how to handle the is in position. Recalibrated now. Recalibrating. Ugh, they're like Zethian bed roses. Get off my ship! I like this. Basically, this Borg Vicrium is like an adaptive um, healing generator. It's great. Sensors are picking up numerous Klingon vessels decloaking. Combat is imminent. I strongly recommend you return to the ship at your earliest convenience. Captain should be on their own ship in the heat of battle. Go. We'll take it from here. Thank you. If we survive this, I look forward to repaying the favor. Now go. Before it. Okay. The mirror version of Tilly is not what I expected. The mirror t version of Tilly does seem to have some sort of common sense on it. Hmm. <laughs> Which certain Terrans we've met in the past don't. <laughs> yeah. I have some suspicions, but that's just because I'm suspicious. <laughs> I'm back on. This is where occasionally I choose the system and just wait until I get both sets of hanger flats out before doing the briefing. You back in yet, so? Yep, let's go kick some king on ass! <laughs> You'd think that'd be reasonable, but no. Is altering course. They are headed. They're headed towards Hama at full speed. I mean, that's slightly concerning. Shall we disable those impulse engines again? Might be an idea, but I don't know if we've got to. But. Uh, 
suppose we should at least give him a bit of a doubt. Hey, Red. Again, Terran. Let's try and keep it within some form of range of Where has the captain gone? Reading numerous Klingon vessels decloaking. Warning. Ship is under attack. Yeah, and why is she on fire? Uh, uh, massive energy surge. That's a bit concerning. Oh, shit. Oh, that disabled me as well. Yeah, it looks like it disabled me. It disabled the... It disabled the... It destroyed the Klingon ships, but it disabled us. Shields are at full, deflectors offline, all weapons ready. Appears to have bypassed all our defense systems like they weren't there. Based on what the sensors what reported us. during the attack. It appears we were hit by psionic energy, manifested into an energy pulse of considerable magnitude. The attack originated... Oh. I don't like red in my ledger. Oh, I great. Tilly is hailing. So I spared yours. It's time. Next time I won't be so... sentimental. First and last warning. Leave the system while you're able. Did you hit your head in that fight? Oh, I have Tilly, what have you done? Obvious. Everything. Pavo's reach is infinite. After a few more demonstrations of its power, everyone in the quadrant will have no choice but to swear allegiance to me. Or, you know, die. Empress Tilly. And that has a nice ring to it, don't you think? Sane, insane. I'm the one calling the shots here. And I'm pretty sure I told you to get lost or get wrecked. So who's the insane one again? Me? Or the lunatic staring defiantly down the barrel of the ultimate weapon? Tick tock bell. My trigger fingers get itchy. I am reading an energy signature on the surface of Pavo. It matches the initial blasts from the planet. Another attack could be imminent. Well, let's get out of it. We'll be back. And I'm eating the words I said moments ago. Yes, typical Terran. Captain Tilly's betrayal, while unfortunate, was not entirely unexpected. Her use of this agonizer technology to weaponize the ecosystem of Pavo is a matter of utmost concern. I believe I can devise a means to neutralize her technology, but I will need time to conduct research. Rest assured that I will endeavor to counter Tilly's insidious actions as soon as possible. I ask that you prepare to take action at a moment's notice. The lives of untold millions, including our own, could be at stake. Hmm. Understood. Alright guys, looks like we've got um, <laughs> to deal with a new adversary from the Mirror Universe, from the past of the Mirror Universe as well. Captain Tilly. wonder what's going to happen when her and Lita team up. But, you know, enough of this reverie, we will catch you next time. Ta-ta for now.